Uh, somewhat older poem, and I don't really remember if it was a LSD poem or a fellatio poem. <laughs> As long as it's not a Polish poem. So oh, okay. I'll leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> Virtue and fear stare at each other in the mirror. They feed upon and tease each other until neither one remembers what it used to be. That mirror's name is vanity, and it can make a body live in harmony with an improbable costume, or it can make life hell. A reflection of itself that is less than either extreme, divinity or banality. Time does not, however, pander to base creation, Thus, if and when God admires a loving glass, be he drunk or vain, it's said he sees the devil there, and when the devil does the same, he enjoys a god. In their conceit, each sees, believes, and acts the other. They are in spirit each other. They kiss. And two skulls wrapped in strained and strained habits of anthropoid flesh are thus made one, as Judas was Jesus' lead. <coughs> The dubious act he requisitioned to be or not, the seed in history from whence a world evolved to doubt. And that such a question continues means simply, it was never any different. A most intimate lipskin seals this secret. God betrayed the devil with a kiss because he loved him, uh -huh. if only as a notion. And the sky cries with this searing, this long and loving adhesive smack of apprehension until at last a bridge of sighs. And that fragile speed between enemies now seems forever tied on a tether of bliss as lovers must forever part, their lips racing fast away from that vaguest of cosmic decimal points, our defiant affection.